Hi guys, Niklas Bauer here again. Now we're gonna tie something which has been very frequently asked uh, most <laughs> earlier in the season when we released the episode when Paolo and I are targeting Halibut. But we are soon going to release another episode, so most likely we're gonna have a lot of people asking for it again. So here it is, the uh, Halibut fly, or one of the type of Halibut fly we fished uh, during the first episode and also the second episode. It's basically a pike fly. There's uh, nothing uh, super advanced or anything like that. The, the advanced thing we have on this is actually the weight system. So they ride with the hook point up and uh, they really keel well and sink really fast. And this is something that um, Paolo has uh, invented basically. And uh, I'm gonna show you how we, do, how we do it, but it's basically a mylar tube, some heavy split shots and um, some wire to attach it to it. And I think this is a very, very good way to get those flies deep fast. And also you get that fly to ride with the hook up, which also get, gives a very, very good hookup rate on the fish. We actually lost very few fish on the episode. Of course, we have a dragon tail on them. And I would say the tail is a key. We can really see how effective the tail is and, uh, and how they attract of the vibration and also how they attract on the uh, the flashes the, the silver versions make. So the tail is, in my opinion, a very, very big key to catching these fish. And color-wise, pink and uh, white was a color that was working extremely well for Paolo. Uh, I didn't fish that, that much because Paolo was fishing it basically the whole time. <laughs> but I would say otherwise, like um, a burbot or a small cod imitation. Uh, it was a color I was fishing a lot. This is with a copper tail. This is one of the flies we were using actually. It's basically the same idea here. And you can see when they have been fishing them a lot and you've been scratching them on the bottom, actually you break all the Titan dub fibers off. So you have a very, <laughs> they, you have a skinhead underneath here. So, but it still fishes really well. Uh, an orange one, this is the one I caught the really big fish on. And we haven't seen the episode, we'll leave a link here and you can see it. But this is one fish caught on this. This is something I played around with when I pushed um, a raccoon sunker uh, and I put a fast attach here. Uh, this is something I wouldn't use again uh, because it tangles too much. Uh, so I think this the version I'm going to tie now is much more, uh, much a smarter uh, idea to, to fish it. But it, it caught one big fish, but orange is definitely a good color. And then uh, like a mackerel uh, pattern. Uh, it's also working really well uh, with a silver or a white tail. Um, as you can see again, they are they're getting, when you fish them a lot and scratch them on the bottom, they lose the stomach, but otherwise they, they work really well. And, uh, and a white pattern is something uh, we have been having really good success with. So uh, lighter colors when there's uh, uh, clear skies and uh, a lot of sun and I would say a little bit darker colors uh, and also more fluorescent when you have bad lighting in general. Uh, the hooks we were fishing with was a saltwater hook which was stainless steel. Of course it's really good for you um, because the flies doesn't rust but um, and it's a good choice of course but I'm going to tie these flies in the future more on a hook where they uh, that it will rust eventually. So this is a black nickel uh, hook. It's still a very, very sturdy hook. This is the Partridge Big Bad Predator. Um, but I think it's good because if you lose a fish and you break the leader, this hook will eventually rust off uh, in probably three to four weeks and the fish will not have that uh, stainless steel hook in their mouth for a long time. So. I'm, I prefer this, but of course, if you leave this wet somewhere for a long time, it will corrode, corrode a lot in the salt water. So it's up to you. But uh, size 6.0 is a, it's a good choice. You wanna have a lot of metal in the hooks, so you have a sturdy hook, but still a nice point, so you, so you can set the hook well. Uh, of course, if you go down in lighter tippet, you need to have a slightly thinner wire, but in otherwise, a sturdy hook is something yeah, is very important. And one hook is by far enough because having two hooks doesn't 
increase the hookup rates in my opinion. They were not really going for the tails. We could really see that they were attracted by the tail, but when they were going for the kill, they really went for the head. And that's probably because they're eating a lot of sand eel. Uh, and the sand eel, if they just go nibble in the tail, they are going to just have them swim away. So I think when they, took the, when they made the decision to take the fly, they really went for the head. So um, just some uh, tips and tricks. And uh, we're gonna tie a pink and a white one. This is uh, a really cool color and it's very, very fluorescent and uh, uh, it seemed to be really good. Uh, we're gonna use a lot of glow in the dark flashable inside of it. So it um, can detract, uh, keep some of the light down in a little bit deeper water. So we're gonna start with the, like the weight system and then we're gonna tie the fly on. So basically a pipe fly, but with a cool weight system. So we're doing like uh, five, six centimeters of wire, like that. And uh, we're taking another like four centimeters of the mylar tube. This is size large. We'll cut that off and we'll try to get all the yarn from inside out. This is just when they're making it. So, so we pull that out. So we have the hollow tube there. And then we're gonna use uh, split shots. So we're gonna put, uh, this is uh, four grams here. And then and this is, I only had, I didn't have any more four grams. So we'll do one four and one. I think I have three grams in this one. Ooh. And I can really recommend you to buy a little bit better quality lead, not the cheapest stuff, because when you buy the cheapest stuff, they're really hard to, to open and stuff like that. These are already open and, and ready when you're done. So you put the split shot onto the wire like that. Take a flat nose plier and just cramp those together like that. And we take the four gram and we do exactly the same. So push it like that and we close it with the plier like that. So now I have four grams and I have two grams on here. Uh, of course you can do up to probably 10, but this is what we do it. And we take the wire, put it through here so we try to get the wire through that point. We pull it into the tube, so we have them in there. And of course, if you want to do, I've done this with pike flies too, so you do this, but we put two, two grams in here, and you put it on a pike hook, and you actually have a really uh, good weight system. It's almost like a belly scratcher, but it's just a more simple version. And then it's very important to coat this with, with UV resin. So as you can see, when you're really scratching them, on the bottom that you need to coat this with with the uv resin otherwise you will fray this and everything becomes really shitty so but it still works well if you just coat it the connection for the tail is uh, very similar to what we do on the pike flies but we're not gonna have a hook here so we don't have to use any wire uh, so this is uh, fluorocarbon point, uh, 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 05 uh, or 050 some you say it's very <laughs> I don't know what's done in pound it's actually 33 pounds so and then we have two beads uh, fast attach and then I put a tail on here just so I can see when I'm tying it so I get the right length to the fibers uh, what's important when you're tying with a tail that it's important to be honest to don't have material that exceed this first point here when you're using a dragon tail if you're having material that is longer than this I really recommend you to cut it away or, or try to make the fly uh, the material end here because otherwise it has a tendency to, ta to tangle so keep it somewhere uh, slightly shorter than the first point here you will be good to go
now we are basically to where we're going to weight the fly here. And um, there are a few things which, in my opinion, is important here. That is, we are trying to move every material in front of all the thread wraps. So I'm trying to making one so we don't get too much bulkiness here in the back because it just is. We have the space on the hook, so we don't need to build it on top, on top, on top of each other. And we need to have a lot of space here. And I want to. I don't want to put any too much material here, so the fly sinks too slow. So, but I also want to have something which is very durable. So we're going to use two magnum. The tail and the rest of the front here, or half of the fly, is going to be only magnum flashable because it, it's really nice. But then when we come closer to the head, I want to have a little bit different texture on the flashable, just to make it um, sparkle and move in, in slower speeds. And especially with the halibut, you know, the slower you're fishing the flies the better it is. So this is going to be two strands of glow in the dark magnum, which I'm just going to attach here because this is what we're going to basically um, put all around the hook here. So we have a nice uh, thick body and then uh, we're going to continue with more bucktail in the front here. But this is just to get a nice and uh, secure uh, body here. We're going to tie this in and the wire is good is to keep the lead in, in, in place here. So we are going to do the, this one doesn't matter, but I like to do the, the heavy one in the back and the lighter one because it makes it a little nice transit over to the uh, next bucktail here. So basically we're going to tie this in um, here so we can fold this back and, and we have a nice space here for the hook. So basically we're going to go like this. So what I like to do is I'm going to try to push the thread wraps backwards. We're gonna make this stay on the top here and then go with the thread tight wraps here uh, quite far forward and we'll just see when we're going to fold this so we're gonna be a little bit further down here but I like to stop here and take this thin or this not the thin but the wire off here so when you take the small other material here you don't damage your scissor so then we're gonna go like that gonna cut all these fibers away here of course you can incorporate these in the fly if you want to but I just like to cut them away
So there we have it. A really durable um, fly that will really sink down well uh, to get it from the wise here. And, um, and uh, make a great uh, appearance in the water. And also, uh, let's see if we can hold this here. Uh, so, uh, nice fly, a lot of um, flashable, uh, a lot of volume, but not too much material, so it doesn't sink slow. I'm just gonna cut some of these away, as I just, in, so that you can have them to this point here, but not further because it has a tendency to tangle a little bit, or at least that the tail won't move as well. So, simple fly, or not a simple fly, that's wrong to say. It's, you, need, you need a little bit of knowledge to tie this, but uh, a really good halibut fly. Uh, of course, it's gonna work really good on other saltwater species too, but you're feeding on the bottom. Uh, excellent cod and also pollock and coldfish. So, don't be scared for those uh, eight, 10 grams. It's actually quite easy to cast these with a 12 weight and a heavy sinking line and it really gets down deep if you wanna fish and keep those flies on eight, nine, 10, down to 12 meters. It's a very, very good solution. And if you wanna have a chance to win this fly, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, especially if you watched the halibut film and you jumped into this one. There's a lot of cool tying videos here, not only for halibut, but for pike and everything else. So please subscribe on the Fly Dressing YouTube channel. And uh, well, hope you're the lucky guy who can win this because a lot of people are asking for flies, so. Here it is, go get him.